Hey guys, JC6 here, back with you with Phoenix Wright Trials and Tribulations. This is case number, this is case 2, part, part 2. Trying to figure out who murdered Cam Bullard. You must be relieved we got to take your arm back, huh? You bet, but there's something a little different about it. Don't, I mean it's pretty obvious, isn't it? I mean, take a good look. Take a look at this. It clearly says I am on the orange in the po poster. But the orange we got back says I am me, like he always used to. But yeah, you're right. Plus, the vase has pink spots on it now. I'm sure they weren't there before. Maybe my doesn't know, but one year ago, when the orange was broken, the pair accidentally turned Mystic Ami's name into I am. And that repair was one of the cat on skill little pearls. But still, I don't remember ever seeing pink spots on it. Is it possible that Orin is a fake? I'm sure pearls will find out about that once she gets back to Korean Village. Yeah, I suppose. I didn't think about it. Mine has to send back to Korean Village in a long time. So I guess people still go back to Korean Village to do their training, right? And if you want to become a spirit medium, you need to undergo severe training. So why haven't you been training lately, Maya? Well, lately I've been thinking of he heading to a channeling dojo to do just that. Channeling dojo, huh? Sounds pretty serious, whatever that is. If you're going to train, you have to be serious, otherwise real tragedies can happen. Is what happened last year still bothering you? But yeah, she tried to channel it, channel. Well, I'll let Phoenix explain it right here. The murder in her village happened because the Phoenix power of channeling was misused. When Mim uses the crane technique, she, tempor she temporarily loses her own will. So when especially strong spirits are summoned, the spirit medium can get taken over and even forced to commit terrible crimes. Which worse in those cases, the spirit medium has no Remember of what happened. That murder wasn't your fault, Maya. You know that, don't you? I suppose not, but... I guess I'm still a bit shaken up, that's so. all. Sounds like being the master of Korea is going to be a heavy responsibility. Well, what happened was that somebody... She thought she... Like, she thought the channeling didn't go well and a spirit took over and killed the doctor. But what happened was that someone tried to pretend to be the someone tried to pr tried to pretend to be the spirit and knocked her out, and then that person killed the doctor. It was some. It was actually somebody else. So let's let's move on. Let's go back to the detention center. Um, running company law offices, the mass hideout. Hmm. May have to look at a walkthrough to see what to actually do. Like this. Oh crap. Security room. I 
I'm thinking about going back to Miss Andrews. Ba ba going back to see Miss Andrews at the basement warehouse. Then, then presenting her like with the Magatama. See if we can get any. See if we can finally break these psych locks. The sacred urn. Ms. Andrews, do you know anything about the sacred urn? Do, do, do I know anything? I'm in charge of the entire exhibit. The urn that was submitted before the court today is obviously not the same urn as before. Well, that's that's um, true. Maybe it isn't the same. It could be. It could be a fake. Oh no. We'll have to wait till Pearls comes back. Yeah, I went to... Yeah, I went to church today. I mean... I, I don't... I don't... To be honest, I don't like listening to the pastor talk during church I just I usually just go because well right now I'm living with my parents so like they, they're the ones that want me to go to church it's kind of it's kind of it's kind of a rule they have so I, I, I really don't really like going to church I mean, I, I'm getting to know the people, so it feels more comfortable, but, um, it's not really, I, I'm, I'm not a religious person. Let's see, um. I wonder if we should go back to mask to mask. Excuse me, boy. Take a look at this. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm having the faintest idea. I guess I usually just don't get out enough. I thought you always. She always says she goes riding on her motorcycle. I mean, what's what's up? I thought she liked having a exciting life or something. I mean, the way I get an exciting life is I just drink coffee. <laughs> I just drink coffee all day. I mean, that that should give you enough excitement. I just drink. Right now, I switched to drinking caffeine, like Dr. Pepper and coffee together mixed together but oh, dang I mean look at me look this guy even a framed picture of himself on the wall I mean, you, you must, I think, so, I guess that must mean he must love himself a lot, which is not a problem, I don't see, it's not a problem to love yourself, so, um, let's see, main exe ex exhibition hall, ugh, ugh, oh, damn, Oh, damn it. Can't figure out where to go. Ugh. Damn, this sucks. Well, I could go back to CEO's office. Try to talk to the gumshoe. 
Let's present him with the Hit the gum to about this right here. So it's hard to believe, but there's a limit to how much my brain can hold. I got two ears and two eyes, but I only got one brain. But you is on the brain thing. Yeah, ever since you got your detective thing, you sort of just let it go. Because you already got the job, you sort of just so <laughs> gave your brain a break. Like, you know how some people, they get right into college and they think, I'm set for life. But then they sort of just let their, they sort of just get too relaxed. And then their grades just drop. It's like... It's like when you're like what like when when you got senioritis, you know you you you, you think oh I'm about to graduate, grades don't mean crap anymore, so you just take go all loose with your grades. Then 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 when you get to college, you say oh oh my god, this stuff is hard right now. I gotta get my grades up. I mean, when I went to college, it was kind of a shock to me because I actually, actually, my first semester, I made some C's. I never made a C, and I, I only made a C one time in high school. So it was kind of a, it was kind of an eye opener to me about how hard, how hard college is. It's, I think, I think I made a C, it was, first, it's the first semester of college, it was a C in biology, I think, C in biology and geology, two very boring subjects. Uh, well, let's try, because I came fuller. Tell us more about Mr. Shane B Blue Bart. <laughs> That's Shane Bullard. That's Shane Blue Bart, pal. Oh yeah, the victim in... Yeah, heaven. This case is... Oh yeah, the victim in this case just doesn't make much of an impression on me. Oh, you were a victim until Mr. Bullard was found dead. His body wasn't discovered until this morning. Anyway, we don't have enough information yet. Can you help us out? So, but I'm actually a little confused myself. For some reason, I'm just babbling like an idiot right now. Okay, Nick, now is our chance to get more info about the video, so hurry up and ask. Well, I knew it. Because I thought Gumshi had only three of those dialogue lines. Oh, three of those dialogue Three of those dialogue things opened up, so I thought there might have been a fourth one. Can you tell us some more about K Mr. Bullard? He's the CEO of KB Security, huh? Right? What kind of company is it anyway? Well, the company basically sends security teams out to build to guard them. Mr. Bullard had, must have had the chance to learn a lot of secrets doing this kind of work. Oh, and, and I don't know how to put this, but the guy was kind of a money grubber. Really, me too. I just love money. I can't ever get enough. Please stop leaning in towards me like that. You aren't getting to my wallet. Well, maybe... How much do spirit mediums make each year, I mean? I'm gonna, you might, since there's not too many spirit mediums, I bet you can just charge them for the, a few thousand dollars just to have a channeling done. Anyway, it looks like he did some pretty shifty stuff to earn his millions. Oh, so that's my pride. I need to be shiftier. Let me go already. Apparently, he was involved in selling trade, comp trade secrets between rival companies. Well, that's pretty dirty underhanded. Yeah, oh. KB Security used to hit security operations against Mask to Mask. Oh, really? I mean, after screwing up so many times. The company's reputation really took a nosedive. So it really was Bullock who sent Ron the blackmail letter, huh?
Let's try moving back to each location one time. Or I could just end the episode right here and look it up. Take care everybody. I'll see you guys next time.